This is CBS 47 Eyewitness News at Noon in high definition. New developments today on the murder case that led to years of killings, which prosecutors say were all committed by the same guy, the Golden State Killer. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Joey Horta. We have team coverage on the alleged Golden State Killer facing a judge in the South Valley today. Former Exeter police officer Joseph D'Angelo now being charged with what investigators believe was his very first murder in Visalia. DeMarco Morgan has the exclusive interview with the daughter of Claude Snelling, who prosecutors say D'Angelo shot and killed in 1975. In my heart, I believe he's the one and that my father was his first victim. Elizabeth Hupp's father, Claude Snelling, gave up his life to save her from being abducted by the so-called Visalia ransacker. In September 1975, she says a masked gunman broke into her bedroom in the middle of the night, threatened her, and then dragged her out to their carport. That's when I heard my dad yell, and the man with the ski mask pushed me to the ground, turned, shot my dad twice as he was coming through the back door. The killer fled. Snelling died on the way to the hospital. Hupp was 17 years old at the time. He's always been my hero. I would not be here today, I'm sure of it, if it hadn't been for him. The crime started here in Visalia. Tulare County District Attorney Tim Ward believes Snelling was the first victim murdered by Joseph D'Angelo, the suspected Golden State Killer. We're filing first degree murder charges against Mr. D'Angelo, uh, along with an allegation that he used uh, a firearm in the commission of that murder. During the 1970s and 80s, D'Angelo allegedly committed at least 12 other murders and more than 50 rapes in 10 California counties. DNA evidence led to his arrest in April. At the time of Snelling's murder, D'Angelo worked as a police officer about 12 miles away in the town of Exeter. He is also suspected at about 100 burglaries and attempted sex assaults in Visalia. The only crime that we can attribute uh, Mr. D'Angelo that has not passed uh, the statute of limitations is the murder of Mr. Snelling. D'Angelo has not yet entered a plea in his criminal cases. I'm just very happy that he's... We continue our team coverage now from the Visalia Police Department where the chief is releasing new details today. While D'Angelo is not directly linked to Snelling's murder by DNA, Police Chief Jason Salazar says he can prove that he's also the Visalia ransacker. And CBS 47's Angelica Leilani just got out of that press conference. She is live with the evidence police are using to tie D'Angelo to those crimes. Angelica? That's right, Joey. Visalia Police Chief Jason Salazar and Tulare County District Attorney Tim Ward say through an extensive investigation with multiple agencies, they have been able to link 72-year-old Joseph D'Angelo to the murder of Claude Snelling, along with countless other crimes up and down California. Now, Chief Je uh, Salazar says a gun that was used to kill the victim, Claude Snelling, was a stolen gun in a previous ransacker burglary that occurred in August of 19. And they say while the DNA is not there, they've been able to use other evidence that they've compiled over the last 40 years. And we heard from Salazar earlier. The arrest of Joseph James D'Angelo by Cellular Police Detectives had new information to work with to further the long active investigation into the ransacker cases and the Snelling homicide. Now Salazar says there's at least 102 burglaries that they believe D'Angelo committed and they here in the Visalia area and they are continuing to look into those. Now one thing he mentioned is that there is a statute of limitations for some of the crimes but they say that they are able to charge D'Angelo with first degree murder for Claude Snelling. And for now, he is uh, being held in Sacramento. Of course, we will keep you updated with the very latest reporting live in Visalia. I'm Angelica Leilani, CBS 47 Eyewitness News. Angelica, thanks for the latest on this. Head to yourcentralvalley.com. You can also download our mobile app in the App Store or on Google Play.